Hey, it's Goy from SEOs Unite. I just want to talk a, about a real quick little way to do tiered link building using SE Nuke and to do it using the social sites Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Uh, a couple questions on the forum popped up from our link building tutorial involving tiered linking and uh, concern was brought up that, you know, maybe Web 2.0 sites will eventually lose the current authority they have and that their links will count a little bit less uh, in the future. And I understand that concern. It's really pretty reasonable. But uh, I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough about what this tutorial was, because in using the elements of this tutorial, you're not depending on the Web 2.0 sites, but rather you're depending on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, which they aren't going anyplace anytime soon. Now, as a quick note, uh, Twitter is currently no follow, so if you're concerned about no follow links, uh, that might be a concern to you. And another note is all three of these services use 301 redirects in their links. So if you want to stay away from 301 redirects for some reason, this also may not apply to you. Uh, my personal view is Twitter is a good thing. At 301 redirects past most of the link views, you know, maybe 90%. So I don't really care about the 301 redirects. I just rather have links from Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter any way I can. Uh, in addition, using the elements of this tutorial, you're going to be able to take a new post that you make on WordPress or any other site with an automatically updating RSS feed and build links instantly, uh, get it indexed as quickly as possible, and also uh, improve your profile ranking on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn by also linking back to those profiles and those individual posts. Um, all of this is really beneficial and all of it's really pretty quick and easy to do with SE Nuke X, especially when SE Nuke XCR comes out. Hopefully it'll be even better. So, let's go through this diagram real quick. I used a big WordPress symbol, assuming that most of us are going to use WordPress sites. Now, if you have an affiliate store, you can use that. Uh, if you have a form, you can use that. Just whatever you're using, make sure that it has an active RSS feed that updates as soon as you make your post. Uh, you'll have to sign up for Twitter feed. What Twitter feed does is it will take your RSS feed, uh, grab a snippet, and post links on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn back to your original WordPress post. So for example, let's say you, you write a post about how to train dogs. Um, the RSS feed on your blog will update, Twitter feed will grab the information from that RSS feed, and it'll post a uh, little snippet on your Facebook page, on your Twitter account, and on your LinkedIn profile that links back to that How to Train Dogs post. Now that's pretty good, um, but where SE Nuke XCR comes in is you're going to take your social bookmark module, your social network module, and your RSS module, and you're going to use just those three modules to make the most of it that you can. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to bookmark the new post using the social bookmark module. You're going to take those RSS feeds and save them for later. Uh, eventually, you will take the RSS feed from your blog and you will use that. Not quite yet, but down the road here you'll see how it works out. You will use the social network module twice and link to your new post using it. And you'll use, you know, one spun article and just post once. You don't need a ton of posts. You don't need to kill it. You only need 15 or 20 links going to your new post each and every time. You also take a second article. Don't use the same article. Take a different article and post links to the exact pages where the links back to your new post reside. So for Facebook, if you make a Facebook page, you want to link to that Facebook page. Uh, on Twitter, you're going to link back to your Twitter profile, and on LinkedIn, you're also going to link to your LinkedIn profile. You're going to social bookmark all of those articles that you posted in this in the social network module. Okay, so you're immediately going to try and index those links that you just created back to the new post and your social account pages. You will then use the social bookmark module again and bookmark 
each account individually. And once again, we're just sending links, you know, social links back to social accounts, and they'll, you know, link back to your new post. Now, you're not really depending on Web 2.0 uh, or you, the Web 2.0 module and SE Nuke, as it won't be linking directly back to your site except for just the one case where it's linking to the new post. You're also getting the links from the three major social networks. So we've covered social bookmarking the new post, social bookmarking the social network links, and social bookmarking the profiles. You will then take each RSS feed from everything you've just done and submit them. So it's the RSS feed from the new post, or it's from the site that'll have your new post in it. It's the RSS feed from each social bookmark module, and it's the RSS feed from the social network module. Optionally, you can also use the RSS feed from your social profiles where it applies. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure that each of these have uh, their own RSS feed. Typically, you know, I don't do it as religiously as I should, but it's something you can think about. And this whole system immediately feeds link juice right back to that new post, and it's definitely the way to go. Um, it's something to think about if you want to implement that in the future. It's not that bad. Uh, if you want to talk more about it, just join the forum at seosunite.com. We can discuss it. Thanks a lot.